Hello Aquarius, welcome to our timeless tarot to go. Now this is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. It is also a timeless reading, so whatever time you find yourself watching this video, that is the ideal time for you. Okay, so let's try to see what is your main energy for today and how the story of your life will unfold. At least a possible future. You always remember that this is just a possible future. You have already always the freedom to choose. Now we have here the seven of swords. Okay. When we look at it here, uh, this person seems to be ready to uh, face a challenge in one's life. He's already equipped and he has a lot of feathers when you look at it. Uh, he's holding a short knife. Somehow I feel that is her his ability to uh, use his intellect. And at the same time, the feathers can symbolize the assistance he is receiving from his spirit guides. So this is your main energy right now. You are beginning to start a new challenge in your life, which can be symbolized like a person getting ready for battle. And he is on top of the situation. He is on a higher ground. Okay, so he can see a better perspective of whatever challenge he is about to face. So right now, I feel you are right now to face, about to face a certain challenge in your life. Uh, something that uh, you are very confident that you will achieve. Uh, at the same time, you feel the assistance coming from your spirit guides and from the universe. So... Uh, yeah, you're ready to uh, start a new chapter, a new challenge, and you seem to be capable of succeeding in it. Now, we have here the Three of Wands. Again, when you look at the Three of Wands, it is somebody who is getting ready to face the waves. This person is holding a surfboard. So the surfboard can symbolize the capacity of the person, which is very similar to that small knife that this person has. It is something, uh, it's a tool. So you have a certain skill or a certain tool that will allow you to face whatever challenge that is before you right now. And you are on fire. You're not only uh, capable of, have. you are not only having the big picture, you do not only understand what is the situation, but at the same time, you are on fire and you have the support of the universe in your life right now so we put them to here the two here this is the main energy and this is the first unfolding so you're beginning a new chapter now for some of you uh, as you begin your, a new chapter you are living behind a painful situation okay it has wounded you and yeah it has caused you pain but i think you are finally leaving it behind we have here the three of swords so right now number three is very important for you and angel number three uh let's try to see what is the meaning of the angel number three so it's a, a number of creation a number for growth and expansion so yes it's something that will allow you to begin something new Creating a new chapter, uh, number three of wands. Creating a new chapter, closing an old one that no longer serves you. It has caused you some pain, caused you some scar, but it has made you wiser, I believe. So for some of you, it can be a certain trial you underwent, uh, whether it be in the area of health or in the area of, of, of relationships or in the area of of your career or friendship or family life you underwent just a, a trying moment but you are beginning to expand something new and you are ready to face the waves actually ready to face the challenge and everything that you need to start this new chapter you already have and you feel the support that is coming from the universe now we have here the three of cups so it's not only support that you receive from the universe but also support coming from those who are close to you, especially friends. Okay, so this, uh, we have here the Three of Cups. It's the celebration of friendship. 
and all of you are looking at the stars before that so this new chapter which is promising you are on fire you are on fire because you can feel the support from the universe and support also from those who are close to you in your life now here the ace of wands somehow gives you that that ability to be on fire it's a gift from the universe uh, the third eye is on fire so in a certain sense your gift of intuition is quite high right now your intuition is quite high right now that's why you are very much aware of the guidance you are receiving from the spirit guides especially i feel from the angels okay now uh so here you are very intuitive at this present moment as you begin this new chapter or this new journey we have here the tower moment okay so yeah whatever this painful situation is the universe will close it for you through a tower moment uh, you might feel a little bit uh, vulnerable at this time but just allow the spirit to guide you and things will be fine this tower moment is something positive for you it's setting you free from a situation that no longer makes you happy that no longer satisfy you and maybe even causing you pain so the universe will close the chapter for you so you need not have to worry about that one now the important thing is to continue to be on fire and have that energy of the king of wands somebody who is brave just like the lion somebody who's not afraid to face the challenges that you encounter just like the main energy the seven of swords you have the courage and the ability to face the challenge that is before you so it's a very beautiful energy that you have right now you are very strong very confident and very capable and if you continue on doing that there will be happiness not only for you there will be contentment not only for you but also for your family and those who are close to you these people who stick by you through thick and thin so it will be it will lead to celebration among those whom you care for and uh, second to the last one is you will be receiving another gift and this is the ace of pentacles so it is not only a gift that will set you on fire but you will also give receive the gift of security maybe financial security and prosperity and success so whatever your endeavor you will in and go and uh, start with whatever endeavor you will begin right now it promises success and here we have the two of wands now from the success you will have to make certain decisions again okay so after you succeed no after receiving the gifts you will have to make certain decisions maybe the decisions are uh, will you take a new route which is uh, with this new gift that you have received from the divine or will you continue on the route that you have right now because previously you already received a certain gift which is the gift that sets you on fire now uh, a little later you will receive another gift which is something that will lead to success so i i feel that if you just continue on this route you will get both but you can also change your course anytime depending on the movement of the spirit so in order for you because every time the universe gives us a certain gift we need to discern where the universe is leading us and what the universe would like us to learn so that this gift will completely unfold so in a certain sense after you receive the gift there will be a need for you to decide things and things will be at first like a mystery but you again have the guidance of the universe to make the right decision so it's just the cycle of life <clears throat> You receive a gift then you make choices again and uh, it seems that things are going well from from a painful situation a promising one is being born now we will try to end this reading with some oracle cards we're going to use the guiding light oracle by kelly smith okay let's try to see what is the message from our oracle for aquarius okay Aquarius we have here wishing on a star it is time for you to dream again go ahead make a wish it just might come true okay 
So after this painful situation, wish upon a star. And I feel when you make that wish upon the star, you are not alone. There are people who will be wishing together with you. These people who are also very concerned of your welfare, so these people will accompany you as you move forward this new dream or wish that you can make. So don't be afraid. Wish upon a star. I will adjust this a little so that we'll have more space. Okay. So here we have wishing on a star. Okay, now let's see if we have some more message. Divine channel. You are a divine channel. Your work with your angels and guides. You work with your angels and guides to deliver messages that assist others in their spiritual path. So for some of you, maybe this gift that sets you on fire can be a new calling to guide people. Something that will bring prosperity not only to you, but also to those people that the universe will entrust to you. So, uh, for some of you, you are called to be a guide for other people. A divine channel of the message of the universe for others. Now, let's try to see what else can we expect we have here. Freedom of soul expression. You may be holding back from expressing yourself out of fear of losing or upsetting someone around you. Well, you need to let go and let God. Trust the universe that you will succeed. Let go of the painful past and accept the promising future just as this person is running towards the waves. So, do not be afraid. Respond to the inspiration and express yourself. You are worthy. So, it is time to stop feeling unworthy, unloved, and undeserving. You deserve love. You deserve support from people. You deserve happiness in your life and in happiness for your family. You deserve to go and reach out for your success. Success, receive the gifts. You are worthy to receive the gifts from the divine. So this is what we have for you right now, uh, Aquarius. I hope that you were able to resonate well with it. You were able to gain some inspiration and some insights. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again in our next videos. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.